Yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes, welcome to another Geek Culture Congress. What up, 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 everybody in Facebook land. Uh, sorry about the uh, weird uh, uh, video there. It's uh, because we're not in our normal studio today. It has been occupied by uh, alien forces, and hopefully we'll reclaim it next week. <laughs> if Build we got something to talk about, yeah. Build the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, welcome to another Geek Culture Congress. I'm your host, as always, Louis Speedy Jr. Gonzalez, here with the very famous and talented Mr. Tarek Lewis. Give it up for Mr. Tarek Lewis. Thank yes, you. Thank you for me. Only just me here. I will clap for him. Yes, yes. Appreciate it. I'll clap for myself. <laughs> and if you haven't checked out uh, Tarek's comedy, you need to go uh, check him out, his videos on YouTube and uh, yeah. uh, also on his Facebook. He's always got a, a great banter. And uh, go follow him, man. He's really funny. I would appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> nice people out there. All right. And, uh, well, today we're going to talk about um, a little bit about Shazam. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, mm-hmm. me and Joey, who hopefully is coming later, I hope. <laughs> um, me and Joey uh, both got to see it uh, the past weekend because we caught the uh, Fandango uh, Special. exclusive. Yeah. yeah. So we had to pay for it. So we felt no obligation that we had to review it. But, you know, um, we decided since this is definitely something important to what our show's about, we decided to talk about it today anyway. Yeah. And, I feel um, like that that special showing was DC's way of saying we good or just <laughs> let us know now, man. We'll pull it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you didn't catch it, did you? I did not catch no, it. No, so like no. Uh, like is Fandango even installed in your phone or something? I have IMDb. Oh, okay. Which connects to Fandango. Yeah. But what happened was I I ignore you guys text all the ah, time. Ah, okay. So yeah. so with the the text that Joey sent everybody. Yeah. Did, you didn't get it. I don't no, see that none of yeah. that. No. Yeah. You guys are great people. But I just thank you. I, I appreciate your text. it. I appreciate the truth, mm-hmm. the honesty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, man, so, um, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to do it with just one person. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it was pretty good, man. It was really good. Uh, like, I posted on Facebook right after I saw it, and uh, well, my, my setup, if I can remember exactly what I posted, was it's pretty much everything that's great and pure about comic books in, you know, a good, decent movie, you know? So it's like real comic booky. then. Um, yeah, it's kind of comic booky. Um. It's very true to the story. Okay. Um, so, you know, if you've seen whatever Shazam, um, maybe animated show yeah. or, or anything like Literally that. Literally ambiguously, you're, you're, ethnic kid finds a genie or uh-huh, something like uh-huh, that. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I get it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's actually pretty good. It's actually a really good movie. So, uh, like, all the criticism, um, I think it was for not. It was really, really, really uh, entertaining. Mm-hmm. And I was surprised. I... I I guess I had low expectations, and I came out pleasant, more pleasantly surprised. Okay. Especially the way it ended, and um, it was, gosh, I had to say it. Um, it, it had some tongue-in-cheek moments, you know, mm-hmm. of course, because, I mean, they're kids, right? Yeah. So, but it was, it had the seriousness when we needed it and mm-hmm. stuff like that, and, uh, you know, it had a um, bunch of, bunch of uh, great moments, a lot of great little um Easter eggs to Were the there? DC okay. universe, yeah. Now, let me ask you this question. Uh-huh. Is it clear that they're in the DC universe? Like, are they? Oh, are, yeah, are they're, they're aware of Batman. Like, and yeah, you? like, like I mean, it's in the trailer, so I'll tell you. So, mm-hmm. uh, like, he's got, like, articles of uh, Batman and Superman. Yeah. And, like, you know, he's collected. One of the kids is, like, big into the into okay. the mass vigilante thing, you know? Okay. And that's the whole thing. Like, you know, pretty much the premise, if you've seen the trailer, is the kid gets the powers, and he hits up his, his uh, foster brother. And he's like, "Hey, man, you gotta help me out, man. I got these powers, but you're the yeah. one who knows about this superhero stuff. Yeah, because you've been you've been reading up on them. You mm-hmm. need to help me out. You know, okay. that's I mean, that's the premise of the comedy and and, and a little yeah. bit of the pro- plot there too. Yeah. It's always they're they're really playing up uh, these these movies recently. The the nerdy friend, you know, <laughs> Spider Man has the nerdy friend. Yeah, now Shazam has the uh, the the geeky friend. Yeah, you know, which I think is cool. I think um, well, hmm." I mean, it's because it's not just him. Uh, it's you know the whole foster family, you know. Yeah. And there's a lot of yeah. uh, uh, art nerd archetypes, maybe in that and family. Then, yeah. Yeah. So it's and like you'll, um, you'll see it as you watch it. Yeah. It's like it's like the facts of life, but they have uh-huh. like superheroes yeah. in it. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. 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 Or uh, what's the other one? Uh, the Brady Bunch there. <laughs> I believe they were related. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It might have been part two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. We have these DC movies now. Where mm-hmm. do you put Shazam? In DC, just DC movies. I'd say it's a little below 
Hmm. I liked Aquaman a little bit better than Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was good. Speed, what did you just what did you just say to me? <laughs> I liked Aquaman just a little bit better than Wonder Woman. Okay. But I would say that Shazam is very close to Wonder Woman, mm-hmm. but definitely not not in that scale. So it's definitely a good the good yeah. the top three as you know. Yeah. So those if, are the top three right now. So there, for somebody right who doesn't hate women, <laughs> Shazam I don't is hate still women. in the top three. I like okay. I like Wonder Woman. I just had some problems with like the end of of Wonder Woman. Yeah. You know the the death of the uh, of the boyfriend. Like, not and then, you know yeah. the plot. The, you don't the have plot kind of lost it there. You don't have to give away the spoilers right. for Wonder Woman. Nah, it's, it's been two years. They've seen it already. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen Wonder Woman. There's problems. You shouldn't even be listening to this podcast. Period. Okay. Thank you. So it makes the top three DC movies. Definitely. Definitely okay. right now, yeah. And you're, and you're saying Aquaman is your favorite. Uh, you just, you know, from Wonder Woman, and Aquaman are kind of like they're there. You know, they have moments that one looks better than the other. There you go. Yeah. I, you know, mm-hmm. it's difficult to put one on top of the other for me. Yeah. I do. I see why everybody says Wonder Woman is a great movie. Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree with that. Um, but I, I in like the cinematics of of Aquaman, I think we're like whew, just yeah. I, I I think there were in that case very superior to wonder woman some things in wonder woman now what about shazam my concern was mm-hmm. i didn't like the way his outfit looked yeah but i think it's kind of part it, it looks like he the character the actor f- is filling up the con- the suit more than it's fake mm-hmm. um but uh it's it's um more or less it, it, even though it kind of looks like it might be fake it still fits in with the the, the vibe of the movie because it's you know they're kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and it's magic. So it's, you know, it's not, even though it, it might look fake or whatever. I'm sorry for the Boom Boom Mike uh, uh, Joy franchise. Okay. So we're in the, uh, the, the extra studio here because we man, got a. Joe, uh, Joey's from the streets. He's used to this. <laughs> things, I got this. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and give a, a mic check there just in case there. One, two, 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 one, two. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah, Joey's um, had to yell into a cup before. He's fine. <laughs> <For real. laughs> um, Joey, uh, we're talking about um, Shazam. You got to see it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so what do you think about it? Um, I'll be honest with you. Halfway through, I dozed off. <laughs> I took a nap. <laughs> Not saying that it was a bad see, I'm, movie. I'm glad we didn't get an official preview because it would have been in trouble right now. Yeah, but right. I'm, I'm not saying it was a bad movie. It's definitely very... Catered to the kids, I think. Um, Freddie steals the entire movie. Freddie is one of the uh, other orphans. The, the, yeah, the the one who is uh, crippled. Okay. Yeah. So um, I, the, the, I hope he said that, that's not. No, that's not politically correct. But, but Speedy's already <laughs> said he hates women, so we're good. Oh, okay, cool. All yeah. right, straight. That's even worse. That's yeah. not what I said. <laughs> but um, I thought. Are we doing spoiler free? We're doing We're spoiler, doing free. spoiler free, ah, yes. okay. Because you know they got to see this weekend. There is really cool Easter eggs. I think it'll take a couple times, like watch the movie to to get them all. Um, the Easter eggs are cool. How it fits in the DC thing, like universe, is kind of in because you already know. I'm used to seeing like the kind of darker toned or toned down versions, like uh, Aquaman and Wonder Woman were toned down, mm-hmm. but uh, Batman v Superman was very dark. Same as Man of Steel. Um, just how it fits in the universe is kind of a little awkward. But I see where they're going. It's not a bad movie. It's definitely something to take your uh, your kids t- kids to go check out. Oh, okay. It's definitely catered to a kid. It's, you know what I mean? Cause it's, the, it's, the, um, it's a superhero movie, like, version of Big. Mm-hmm. Tom Hanks is big. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. They did, you know, they're like, you know, this is like an old day to to that in a sense. You catch the Easter A little bit. Egg. Yeah. But it was, other than that, it was cool, like, I like the surprise, you know, as the movie unraveled more, uh, some surprises. Um, one thing we can say, um, I mean, it's been out there already that there is no Black Adam. Yeah, yeah, so, I figured that. Reference, so don't go in there thinking. Yeah, you're not going to get a rock, be, okay? Yeah, don't, yeah. Even, don't even set yourself up like that. But other than that, it was cool. I dozed off a couple times just because I think, for, I, when like when he's learning his powers, you know, I mean, because you see it throughout the trailer, I think it, you know, focuses a lot on that, and it's to the point where it's like, okay, we get it. But it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. I mean, I know I've seen the early reviews, and I saw that was a ninety-two on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I gotta see. I maybe they saw something I didn't, but 
It was all right. It was okay. I dozed off a couple times, but that's maybe might be because I was too tired from the night before. You know, the nocturnal life. But. Yeah. It sounds like maybe we can't compare this to other superhero movies. Like, was it better than How to Train a Dragon? I didn't see. I didn't see, <laughs> I didn't see How to Train a Dragon. Okay. But um, ranking it amongst all the DC movies, I I put it above, uh, obviously Suicide Squad. Uh, yeah, obviously. Uh, obviously. I, I put it above the Suicide Squad, Batman v Superman, Justice League, and I'll put I'll put Shazam there, like above that. Yeah. Because I thought Aquaman and Wonder Woman were like really dope. Like visually you see? Aquaman was amazing. You see? No, he said they were really dope. You had Wonder Woman <laughs> third after Shazam. There's no, no way. I did it. Yeah, no, I did no, Shazam. No, Shazam I like he did. No, no, That's what no. he said. Oh. No, it's hey, I had Shazam third. I had Shazam third. And then Wonder Woman so and put, Aquaman for me excel, one? excel in different parts. You know that. You know I feel they, you know they. Aquaman is number one for you. Nah, in some things I think Aquaman was really great than Wonder Woman. I need but you. Then, I need you to commit speed. Come on, you've had some time. Yeah, Come on, he's, 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 <laughs> Wonder Woman has such a dope story. Like the story was dope. Just like the the setting. Um, I mean, Gal Gadot was was great, and just the supporting cast all around. Shazam is, it, it's cool. Like I said, Freddie, who plays his, his stepbrother, his uh, foster brother in the in the in the movie, really is he steals a lot of scenes. Like he, it was to the point where because I can't stand that Zachary Levi on a personal level, like per, not personally, but like, <laughs> like a personal. You know, like you heard it here, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Joy per, franchise for, hates. <laughs> no, for preference, I'm just about for preference guys. wise, I just I just find. Zachary Levi as a B side of uh, Ryan. He's a B side Ryan Reynolds. Mm. Yeah, like it's a yeah. It's toned down. He's Dang. very cheesy. Uh, it, it, no, and I've only seen him on one occasion. Can and we that start? Was, can we start a B four with you and, and him? Yeah, we could. It's the just tr- like Twitter you, war. You yeah. know, like it's it's like <laughs> it's like basketball players in the NBA for me. Yeah, like there's certain basketball players that are good. But uh-huh. I just can't stand them. Yeah, mm. you know, like I can't stand Manu Ginobili. You know, and I can't, and I, and, and guys like Tayshawn Prince, but you know, that's just me just diving into the basketball <laughs> realm of things. Going back to Zachary Levi, I just, you know, not saying saying that he's a terrible actor. It's just, I just, he doesn't really catch my, you know, catch my attention so, like that. He's, so he's, he's the Ma- Mono Ginobili of, of yeah, he's um, the Mono Ginobili <laughs> of actors. <laughs> okay, he's, he's like, you know, he's a, he's a poor man's Ryan Reynolds in my oh. opinion. Oh. Okay. And I'm sorry to say that, but and I'm glad that he's getting his paper and this movie's gonna do really good. Yeah. The first but what week. what else has he been in? I'm, I'm not... Oh, he was he was in Thor. I forgot who he played. Pull in up Thor. your IDB, man. Come on. He or was wherever, in Thor and he did that TV episode. show Chuck, which was terrible in my opinion. Oh, that's oh, where I know yeah, him. Chuck. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. Terrible. Chuck. Yeah, that's that was... where I know him from. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking. I, I know he's, he's like you know, it's like if it's like he's that in between of like Ryan Reynolds and Dane Cook. Yeah, he's like right there. Wow. Well, I'm sure he's listening. Probably. And, you know, Yo, I'm glad he Zachary bounced back from Levi. Chuck. And, uh, I yeah, I'm glad you bounced him. back. I'm glad I didn't know who he was. I thought I thought he was the coach from Friday Night Lights for a little while there. And, that, I, and then I thought he was the guy from The uh, the Departed. I didn't know what was going yeah, on. Yeah, he, he, was, he was way That's too funny. cheesy in that movie for me, man. To, for my liking. I think for for a child, you know, or a young teenager yeah. to, to go in, in this movie and just to have fun with it. Okay, I get it. Like... It just didn't really catch my attention. I thought the kid, uh, Freddie, who's actually been in movies like It, uh, mm. he, was a part, he was part of that cast. Um, I thought he like was a was the dopest part of the movie. Yeah. Okay. So can you see Shazam interacting with the other characters they've already presented? It was awkward. Uh, I, it, it'd be awkward to see him <sighs> because you know what DC's doing is they're trying to. They're trying to turn Shazam into what Spider Man was it is right now in the mm-hmm. MCU, where he's just mm-hmm. so overwhelmed and like, oh my god, I'm a superhero, yeah. and he's in the third, and it's just like, but it's a grown ass man doing, it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what makes it corny to me. Yeah, we all know how this turns out. Yeah. We've seen the Michael Jackson story. <laughs> grown yeah. men just need to be grown men. We can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one mess around with oh, that. Having climbing trees yeah. and stuff. I'm really a kid inside. Nah, Are you man. gonna go see a Terry Lewis after? I am gonna go see, we, but I'm do probably we need to give a. a, a I probably got to go out check it out again. I, I'm giving it, for me, I'd say it was a, uh, I'll be generous to say like a three. A generous three. Yeah. Right in the middle. Because it wasn't, it's bearable, yeah. but it, <laughs> it, it's cool to watch. But It's like eating barbecue with Sunny's. Like, I'm, right. I'm, 
Like I'm, I'm mad. S- I'm, I'm mad. Sore, I'm mad. Like I want to see it again because Are you I, mad because you spent I money and so. now you gotta spend money twice. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah. And, Lucky, you and you didn't really pass, like it. Though. I got movie pass. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, but you gotta wait though, right? To wait till the probably the not because they were because I saw us off the movie pass, and that was the first day. All right. Oh, so how did you like us? Uh, after uh, oh, first let me give my number. I think I'd say I give it a four. I enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed it because they stayed to the uh to the vein of what the story was. Didn't deviate. They sold it. It was funny. Had mm-hmm. a bunch of good funny parts. Um, I have no no hate to the uh to Zach <laughs> Zachary Levi you know, whatever his name is, and uh, it was good. I enjoyed it. It was a good time at the movies for especially at the time we went it was like four o'clock in the afternoon. Did you go with your kids? No. Nope. You okay? No, I don't have small children anymore. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. They're leaving the nest. Don't don't age yourself, speed. They're leaving. Everybody the thought you was twenty seven, man. Right, man. Are you yeah. out here? I look young, man. He was rolling with that. It's cocoa. It's the, the cocoa slick, butter. It's the, the, the slick cocoa back butter. And all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had me fooled. <laughs> Uh, so, four out of five for me. Um, so let's talk about us. Uh, you got to see it. Yeah. Um, man, Jordan Peele is one hell of a visionary. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a very like it. It definitely like mind mind effed you like a lot. Really. And it was dope. And you got to really sit down. And the problem is, is I've saw friends. They'll probably, you know, just let shit, let stuff go over their head. And they'll say, like, the movie was bad. But that's because they let stuff go over their head. And you really got, and, I, and it's good, because I went that movie by myself, alone. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds so sad. It's okay. But, it's, it's okay <laughs> sad boy it's records. It's okay. <laughs> like, I went into the movie alone, and I, it was easy for me to, like, re- and there was, like, nobody there. So it was, it right. was cool. Like, mm-hmm. but, like, me and, like, four other people that were, like, in the back. But, um... I really got to really dissect the movie as it was going on. So I was like, wow, okay, I get that. I get that. There was a couple of things I had to go like on YouTube and uh, kind of unravel like other yeah. little I think Easter you can eggs. Spoil it. You guys can spoll it now. You know, we don't no, 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 no. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet? I saw it. Oh, yeah, you did yeah, see it. Did. I, saw, I, I did see your commentary on it. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. official preview. Yeah. With, like, but we sent him as an ambassador of Kiko's. I thought Congress. it was dope. The only thing I'm trying to figure out was the meaning of the red suits. I don't. I don't know the meaning. There's of the a red meaning suits. behind the red suits. Yeah, I and I'm trying to figure mean, out what it was. And if you do know what it is, feel free to like comment on the yeah, video. I don't know yeah. the meaning of the red suits. Um, but I just, I just love the way it, you know the characters are portrayed. Just the the turns the movie took, um, and also little sub little subtext stuff that you know it's little subliminals that they they shot up in there, and it was just good. It was overall. It was really it's really worth watching. Definitely, you know, something I will own. On when it drops on Blu-ray. Cool. Yeah. cool. yeah, listen, if you dropped out of high school 16, you, you ain't gonna get this. <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna get it. No, it was, I was with my, I was with one of my good friends, Angel, and he was just like, "Man, the movie was trash." I'm like, yeah. "Why?" Because it just, it was, it made you think a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't jumping at you, you know. The, they weren't jumping out at the screen at you like the entire movie. No, it's, it's not the type of movie it was. And yeah. you know, and you got you need you, you got need great a certain, actors, a certain IQ level to enjoy right. this movie. I guess. And you got great actors in there who are leading this thing, like Lupita Nyong'o, who's you know got an Oscar, and you, Winston hmm. Duke, who's really on the rise too. And yeah. you know, it was just a really good cast. Yeah. Uh, the kids that were uh, casted also were really dope. Um, just a really great movie, man. Like it, it ca- changed the dynamic of like how we look at horror movies. Yeah, you need to be intelligent enough to say Lupita Nyong'o's name. Ah, there you go. Know no. I'm a true scholar for that. I can't say her name. I'll have a problem Lupita with Lupita Nyong'o. Saying. You ain't gonna like it. You ain't gonna like <laughs> it. See, I, I gotta make <laughs> sure. I don't, do, I don't do horror movies that much. When, so I'm, when right. I'm announcing people's names, I always make sure like I'm saying it right. So I like YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the name pronunciations, mm-hmm. or watch interviews with them in it, and mm-hmm. make sure I'm pronouncing the name. Uh, right. Speaking about interviews, before we sign off today, we got an exclusive interview That's here awesome, at yeah. Geek Culture Congress coming. Um, uh, you know, we have to pre-record it, but um, uh, it's with. Uh, let me see. Let me pull it up here. <laughs> we have uh, Jason Clark and Amy uh, Samita. Is that what you say her last name? Uh, but they're the uh, Simons. Prote- yeah Simons yeah uh, they're the protagonists of the brand new Pet Cemetery movie Can't that's wait. coming out yeah so and we're also uh, I think Tarek's gonna check out the uh, the preview I'm gonna check out the preview yeah, yeah. he's gonna check out the preview and it's cool because Jason uh, Clark actually well he started in Planet, he was in one of the Planet of the Apes mm-hmm. recent Planet of the Apes yep. movies mm-hmm. he was and in Terminator 2 yep. uh, Terminator, Terminator Genesis I think yeah oh, like that. yep and uh, we're gonna have him here uh, at least for uh, 10 minutes here on Geek Culture Congress so uh, don't don't unlike us. And we're going to have some, <laughs> I'm going to definitely have some like, like common questions because I mean, he's appeared in, you know, Terminator and yeah. um, also, uh, what did I just say? Uh, Planet of the Apes. 
So I'm interested in seeing what you know his future holds, especially with now Marvel opening up all these uh, slots for Fantastic for some Four, yeah. some X Men yeah. characters, yeah. Let's Eternals. See. Let's ask him if he read some some. Yeah, some let's see if he's got that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we gotta sign off. Uh, Geek Culture Congress, because Tarek has to go uh, be funny somewhere else. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Tarek, uh, <laughs> let them know uh, where they can uh, uh, follow you and find you at. My name is Tarek on Instagram and Twitter. All right, Joey, let them know. At Joey Franchise on Twitter and Instagram. That's Franchise with a Z, like Zorro. All right. And I'll be on Wild 94 one Monday through Friday, 7 to midnight. Almost forgot that oh. for a second. <laughs> cool. You can follow my Nocturnal Life always, as always. Follow me at DJ Speedy JR, all socials. And, of course, if you haven't liked us here at Geek Culture Congress and you're like watching us. this video, give us a like. like. We need like more likes, like the cool. Geek Culture Congress we're pretty, page, we're pretty cool. and you'll see all the cool stuff we post. <laughs> we're we not post. as corny as you think. <laughs> <laughs> we post cool stuff that's happening in news and, and things that we probably shouldn't post, but it's hey, up there usually on Geek Culture Congress, and, yeah. and there's then there's is there the... A, uh, is there a- an exclusive uh, page that we don't know about. Uh, you know, you know culture we, we, dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we go into the dark web for some things. We put yeah. up that leaked uh, that leaked Star Wars poster is what we had yeah. up there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, we get we make it happen. We make a pop. Also on Instagram, follow us Geek Culture Congress. Okay, and uh, so is it for us today? Geek Culture Congress signing off. Hasta luego.